guys how's it going Kodak Keys here parents if you're watching this video I assume that at some point two very special people in your life decided to how do I put it have sex and out of that came you you beautiful thing yes parents in every single way overreact to every single thing there is. They overreact to your cooking, they overreact to your grades, they overreact to every little bit of your life. And they all do that because they're parents, they care about you. So they overreact in the most stupid ways ever. Now parents are mostly known for obviously raising you and doing things to help you grow as a person. But now you have to admit that sometimes parents just get a little bit out of line. I mean, come on. Every parent does it, and they can't deny it no matter how much they want. Every single parent has this special tick that just differentiates them from other parents, but they also have this whole thing in common that just... <sighs> makes them a pain. It's like they have this mental connection that just like, hmm, you know what, let's make my kids day shit. Or the other side of the connection, hmm, let's make my kids day great. For example, fathers. Yes. I'm not sure if I just heard a goat sneeze or fart. Maybe it was the chicken, I don't know. I don't know if you heard it. Fathers. Fathers have this weird way of being that is just almost universally the same. Now, stereotypically speaking, fathers are the ones that go and love you once a week. <laughs> and that once a week, that's when you go out together to do stuff. Because the rest of the week they're working, stereotypically speaking. They take that moment, that is a glorious moment for them. Because that, that precise moment is when they are free with you to do their most inner cravings. Yes, dad jokes. The horrendous dad jokes. Thing is, they don't even try to hide it. They're just like, huh, yeah, that's... Uh, dad, can we go? Dad, we've been at the auto show for about five days. Dad, I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, hi, hungry. I'm dad. <laughs> Classic. It just happens. And mothers. Mothers are more subtle. Some mothers pull out the mob jokes and just you have a winning prize right there. Some mothers can just be like, oh hey kiddo, how's it going? Because they try too hard to be hip, to be in style, to be, you know linked with you in a, in a sort of way and they try too hard and that's just when you back off you're like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also the thing is while you were growing up <laughs> your mom loved you for about a week after that first week when you were born you were a pain in the ass to your mother because one week before you were a pain in the but the point is that they love you but they want to be free for some moments, so they hide in the bathroom. But I mean, even though that relationship may be a bit weird, you have to thank your mother for everything. Without them, we wouldn't be able to find our missing items, because it always happens. Nothing is lost until your mother can't find it. I mean, it usually happens in weird ways. Mom! Mom! Mom, have you seen hope? Mom, I can't find my hope. Mom, I think I lost it. Mom. Mm. <laughs> That's what you were looking for, sweetie. <laughs> yeah, that was just what I was looking for. You know, hope is never lost. <laughs> yes, they find everything even that hope you thought you lost quite some time ago for those that uh grew up without parents uh i can't begin to imagine how difficult it must have been see i like to believe that 
Being a parent does not mean sharing your DNA with a child. Being a parent means taking responsibility for a kid that can't take responsibility for himself. Ah, it's summer and it's hot. Bring me water. Oh wait. Question of the video! Let me know what type of parents you have down below in the comments section. Do you have the strict parents? Do you have the free parents? Do you have the... Yes. Does it sum into those two or are there more categories of parents? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like, rating, and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be very much appreciated. Don't forget to check my social medias, Facebook and Twitter, because those are the only ones I use. And honestly, I use Twitter more than everything. It's Kind of stupid. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. A hug to every single one of you out there. Don't forget, don't lock yourself in. You have the key to your own life. Hasta la vista, like the Terminator told you. I'm not understanding shit you're saying. Oh wow, uh, standard gamer. Uh, you don't stand shit against me.